Today we are making lattes, but not with coffee, we're making them with tea. Tea Espresso is the world's very first coffee-inspired tea cafe. Today, I am going to be making tea with Alison Devane, who is the founder of Tea Espressa. It didn't come to me to do the coffee shop thing first, and I was talking to my dad. I'm like, Dad, I have no idea what to do. What do I do? And he's like, well, what gives you joy? Like, if someone can pay you a million dollars to do anything, what would it be? And I was like, make coffee all day. He's like, there you go. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're a genius. So, <laughs> why didn't I so, think of that? I know, I was like, wow. Espresso uses a very unique technology that makes tea with just as much caffeine as espresso. I basically started experimenting with the tea, right? Long story short, I was able to find someone that has been building espresso machines all his life. I was like, I need this to do this and this and this based off of what I know from tea and my experimentation. Can you help me do it? He's like, yeah, let's do it. To make a tea latte, you start by using about a tablespoon and a half of Allison's specially crafted tea. It goes through a high pressure, high temperature process, extracts a tea shot in seconds. They actually have this really cool machine that will brew the tea like espresso. This is a black tea. Okay. Um, this is my favorite blend, it's called the Manhattan Black. And what kind of um, milk would you like? Okay, let's do almond milk. All right, so we're gonna do just do a little bit of almond milk. Stir it up a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with ice for you. The reason why we have these cubes is to chill your drink, but not dilute it, the drink. Okay. Bigger squares, make it cold, it melts slower, so your drink is colder for longer. Okay. Yeah. We're back over here, and now you have your tea shot. It looks like espresso. Isn't that crazy? So we're gonna go ahead and pour it in. Okay. And then we're gonna head down over here. Okay. Drink is ready almost. The final touch for your tea latte is to garnish it with some petals. Now, Allison offers about five different petal varieties, and depending on which drink you order, it'll get a different garnish. So she has things like cornflower, lavender, rose petals, and they really just help to finish off whatever latte you order. So what's a black rose without rose petals, right? And do these add, is it like an added little benefit? It's for aesthetics, it's for um, aroma. You can mm -hmm. actually smell more of the rose petals from it. And rose petals actually do have a lot of health benefits in it too. And that is it. It's beautiful. Cheers. Cheers. All right, this is the first time I'm trying this one. Yeah, oh really? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I mean, obviously it's delicious. Chances are you have all the tools you need to make this at home. Just kind of think like you're subbing out your coffee for your tea. Okay. You can even throw this in your coffee maker too if you wanted to. Really? Yeah. These teas and lattes are so enjoyable to drink. They're creamy, they're light, they're flavorful, and best of all, more nutritious. And also, it has an exponential more amount of tea thionine. For me, when I drink a cup of coffee, I get a headache. But when I drink a cup of tea, no headache. Not only is it going to make you feel better to drink this tea, but you're also getting really good for you ingredients. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Keep doing Thank it. Thank you. Allison started her business about four years ago, and her growth in that time has been incredible. She actually attributes a lot of her success to her appearance on Shark Tank. They, they loved the product itself. Yeah, they loved sure. what I was doing, and they thought that I was doing too much in a short amount of time. She went on Shark Tank about two years ago, and she didn't make a deal, but she started getting orders for her teas and her sugars and her elixirs. Barbara told me, like, there's no way that you can open a store, do wholesale, do online, and do all that. Like, that's crazy. Like, that's just so much. I'm kind of glad it happened because that really lit the fire for me to do it, to yeah. prove them wrong, and then I did it. She got so many orders, in fact, that she had to open her own warehouse. So now they produce everything, still by hand, but with a warehouse location where they're constantly producing new products. Everything is handmade. 
in Tempe, Arizona. Handmade. We do it ourselves is because we are very nitpicky about the details, like the design of the sticker even, totally. to perfectly wrap around here, for this to match up with the copper tape and to perfectly go over here. And just the way like the back inseams has the back of the cubes and everything, like you wouldn't notice this as a consumer, but that's because we've, we've, we've perfected the art so that way it does come into this perfect little package. Teespressa also makes flavor-infused sugar cubes. All the flavors in here, it's less than a teaspoon of sugar, it's less than 16 calories, and we can make it with all natural, like locally sourced ingredients, so that way like the flavor is even cleaner, and that's why it takes 48 hours to get all that flavor into one cube. These are awesome because you can take any base liquid add a sugar cube and you have a whole new drink. For example, these are the old fashioned sugar cubes. So all you need is some whiskey, add one of these sugar cubes and you've got an old fashioned. With new flavors that we have, the team makes up a lot of the new recipes as well. So it'll be like, all right, let's make a mojito cube. And then we'll go out to the bars, try a couple of mojitos. It's a terrible testing <laughs> That's a process. Good team bond. Yeah, I know, exactly. We go out and have a few. <laughs> We'll go like make it and we're like, mm, this is not right. Go out and have a few, go out and make it. That's how we developed all our products. experimenting for two months straight. So like every day. I was like, all right, for me, for this to work, I need to like stay with my parents, figure it out. So I would wake up like every day at seven, dress up like I'm going to work and then go to her kitchen and start working. It was crazy, like on the kitchen table, just cups everywhere and sticky notes everywhere of like just jotted down recipes and that's how it all started. I had no idea it would go this direction, but um, it's it's been really, really fun. I'm very, very proud of like where we are, and I couldn't have done it without everybody that you see out here. And so um, it's kind of surreal. It really is. I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> it's great though. Yeah. Like you yeah. should be so proud of Aww. everything you felt. Like this is very, very impressive. Well, see, that's the thing. I couldn't have done it without like my team. I couldn't have done it without like um, friends, family. Now we have like you know all these products and all these things that just stemmed from this product that mm -hmm. was developed in my mom's kitchen. So. <laughs> If you've ordered your tea espresso, you're ready to start making tea lattes at home, check out our French press tutorial video so you can learn how to make tea in the style of coffee.